What up, I'm Steve Bean, you're watching Tough Talk. Today I'm, we're talking about doping because all this fucking Lance Armstrong bullshit, but I really just want to talk about how awesome it is. The only, the only issue I have with doping is that they, they use my favorite word, which is dope, in doping. Some people want to do it because it makes them pretty fucking strong and they need to be fucking strong. Like Lance Armstrong needed to be pretty strong to win seven Tour de France's, okay? Like, like it or not, he still outbiked all those fuckers. Like, he just juiced himself up so that he could do it. It's like cheating, right? Like I cheated in school. Like I remember one time my Spanish teacher like left me alone in a room to take a test by myself. And my friends fucking walking down the hallway and I'm like, yo bro, come here real quick. And he comes in there and gives me a bunch of fucking answers. I don't know if they're right or not because I still failed Spanish. <laughs> and sometimes you gotta, you gotta cheat to win because maybe you're not good enough, right? I wasn't good enough to pass Spanish. Lance Armstrong probably wasn't good enough to win seven Tour de France's on his own. So he knew, hey man, it's time for me to inject some shit into my balls so that I can get jacked enough so that when I'm riding on this bicycle seat, my balls can be small enough. You know, I'm not hurting myself just by biking my ass up these fucking hills in France, which sounds like shit, by the way. Now let's talk about, like, the world's strongest man, right? So, like, the world's strongest man competition is steroids. Like literally when you see the graphics for it on Fox, they like inject something into it and then it like explodes and gets bigger, right? There's no fucking way that they just went to the gym and they're like, I do eight reps of like 100 and like I take a lot of the protein powder. Oh yeah. And that's why like you're fuck when you take your shirt off, you look like the alien from Total Recall. <laughs> Give me a fucking break, dude. You injected some, you know, fucking crazy shit into your body to allow yourself to pick up concrete slabs over your head for some reason. Who wants to watch that shit? Like, I don't wanna watch some old up dude pull a truck like down a fucking street, but somehow it gains audience of gay men who enjoy watching something like that. Or maybe like those women who like, like those really fucking tan dudes who are like so tan that like when they wear those gold necklaces, like you mainly see the gold necklace first and then you see their affliction shirt and then you see their glistening muscles, and then you see their face, but first you see their fucking white teeth. My point is, who watches that shit? I don't know, but in order for the sport to maintain itself, we've already seen a guy pull a fucking truck up a hill. Now what do you want? Oh, you wanna get rid of steroids in sports? Okay, let's do that. And now the guy pulling a fucking fish market truck up a fucking hill is gonna be carrying like maybe a, a, a cart of watermelons. He can't physically pick up the truck now. So congrats, you just made the sport even more boring than it already was. Do I wanna sit and watch baseball? No, baseball sucks. Do I wanna watch maybe if someone is guaranteed gonna hit home runs the whole time? Absolutely. fucking lootly okay? Barry Bonds, he just swings that fucking bat and hits a home run because his arms are fucking like cylinders. Because he's juiced himself to high hell and he's gotten to the point where like, literally he picks up the stick and probably leaves his like, like fingerprints in the wood. If you take steroids out of baseball, you're ruining baseball by just having everybody naturally hit home runs on the off chance that they happen to hit the ball in the right way. And that's just boring to me, man. Kids, what I'm trying to say is cheat to win. Always cheat to win. Cause it's easy to sit here and be the moral police and be like, you know what? You shouldn't cheat cause it ain't right. And um, when you get to heaven and you're at the pearly gates and God's gonna, or St. Peter's gonna be like, hey, uh, you cheated on your math. Test. No fucking way. Maybe you can cheat your way into heaven. Maybe grease St. Gabriel's fucking palm a little bit. You know what I mean? Maybe like, hey dude, you know what I'm saying? I got, you know, pretty, oh fuck, I left my wallet on earth, but I'm good for it, bro. Okay, I will get it to you, man. I know I have a good friend who can probably get it. Cheating works, man, what, what can you do? Look at David Geffen, right? David Geffen gets hired at some Hollywood agency because he faked his resume. He told them that he had like a degree from some university that he never got, right? So then eventually, like David Geffen works his way up this place and gets into a position where like he like runs the fucking show, right? And then he becomes a billionaire, okay? Because he makes smart decisions. David Geffen cheated his way there and he has no regrets because it worked. Because he knew that he worked hard enough, he knew that all he had to do was cheat his way into the door to get an opportunity. If you feel like you need to do something so bad and it's your dream and you gotta do it and you'll do anything to get it, then fucking cheat to get there, okay? Because it works! 
If you really are that person who's gonna put in the work and put in the time and dedicate yourself to the job, but you gotta cheat your way into it, fucking cheat. Please guys, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I make videos every Wednesday and Friday. I make fucking trolling videos every Wednesday. So if you're bitching while you're watching this, and you're like, where's the trolling video? I fucking uploaded it, asshole. If you look up here in the upper left hand corner, I'm pretty sure I annotated to the most recent trolling video. Go fucking watch that.